Hello everybody, I'm Brittany Baylin, and today's look is inspired by pew, that selfie. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see me recreate this look. I've been kind of experimenting. This look is kind of Instagram body and kind of ICP, if you know what that is. I guess it's also like tiger's eye. I've done a couple of these full face, one brand makeup tutorials. I think I've done Too Faced, Urban Decay, and MAC but I've never done one with an affordable line. This look is a full face of Lottie London, and if you've never heard of Lottie London, then you probably live in the US like I do. They are a UK brand, and they just came here in the States to Ulta. I don't wanna ramble too long in the intro, so let's just see these products in action. To start off, I'm going to prime the face, and I'm using the Instafilter Pore Eraser Stick. I think this is closest to the Milk Makeup Blur Primer, but less expensive, which we are always a fan of, a less expensive dupe. This primer doesn't feel like really heavy on the skin, but it will really help mattify and create a good base. I'm just going to help blend it in a little bit and spread it all over my face. Before we hop into foundation, I'm going to help these brows and I'm going to use the brow pencil from Loti London in medium and dark. Going to brush them up first. And start from the bottom. You know what? Let me zoom you guys in. As I was saying, start from the bottom. Get a nice base going. Then I like to give it a nice little brush down. Get a good little top going. Little end brush down. And really help define that. Little brush up. If your brow needs a little bit of cleaning up, don't worry. I got you covered with the How Cute Is This Got It Covered concealer in the shade sand. As always, I clean up the entire brow. I don't leave anything for guesswork. I like to push a little bit into the front just to give it a little bit of a natural look. If you go a little heavy-handed with the concealer, don't even worry about it. Just go back in with your eyebrow pencil and fix that up real quick. The brow, the brow. Very sad. Kind of thinking about microblading in the future. I don't know if I could live with one brow shape though. I really like to switch it up, but like, damn, that's a difference. For foundation, I'm using All About That Base in the shade Golden. Playing around with this has actually been my first time using a stick foundation. And what I noticed is I really like to concentrate it in the center of my face and just blend that into the face. This foundation is a very matte foundation, but it's not drying, it's not catching onto my dry patches, fortunately. Unfortunately, I have a lot of dry patches right now. My skin has just been very angry with me. I've been trying out a bunch of new skincare products and my skin's not happy about it. Grabbing my Got It Covered Concealer in Sand straight from the tube. I'm just going to put this straight under my eyes. And again, just push this into the skin. I do wish I had this concealer in just one shade lighter for underneath my eyes, but it's not the end of the world. Using their Nudes palette, I'm going to mix these three matte colors. I'm going to just be throwing these in the crease to warm up the crease just slightly and help the bright orange blend. For the eyes, I'm going to be using their Blush Crush in Shade Harry all over my eyes. It's a very bright, pigmented, warm orange. And then just blend slightly a little and keep applying until you get your desired pigmentation. This guy right here, it is the Wing Woman Felt Tip Eyeliner, and it is honestly my new favorite eyeliner. If you like a strong felt tip matte black black eyeliner this guy is for you this eyeliner literally inspired this entire look because i have such control i've never been able to be this creative with eyeliner and that's why i made that little stripe how i do the line is i look straight forward right where my pupil is i do a line like up and down so pupil up take your time don't freak out and it's that easy it's like laying a stamp down for the bottom I like to do more of not so much a line, but like a circle square block. Going to apply my hashtag lash goals and look how cool this wand is. I've never seen a wand like this. Going to give myself a little coat and then pop on some falsies real quick. 
oh my god, I'm dying inside. My camera wasn't recording, and this was just about my favorite part. I love these blushes, and you didn't see me applying, so I'm probably just gonna have to go even more crazy on the blush so you can actually see it. Real quick, what you missed, I baked my face with the Ready, Set, Go Matte Translucent Powder. Just use it under my eyes and right under my cheekbones. Then I went in with Tan Time, and I have it in light medium. This is a true bronzer. It's not necessarily a contour color. It doesn't have a gray kind of brown undertone. It has like a very warmth, sun-kissed bronzer glow. Okay, but these bad boys are right there up with the eyeliner. If you could only get like a few products, I would do the eyeliner and these blushes. They're called the Blush Crush. And I have the shade Drake and the shade Harry. Please forgive Drake. Him and I got into a fight. Um, unfortunately, and he's missing a little bit of his body. I use Drake as a nice base. This is a good everyday color, and this is just like a pop of summer. It is definitely a very bright coral. You do not need a lot. This goes a very long way, and I think these guys only retail for about like, I think it's somewhere between five and six dollars, which is crazy. I want to get the entire collection. I think they have like six different shades love these. Since you didn't get to see these applied, unfortunately, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to give you like a little feel. Like I didn't even have to touch that. That was Harry and that's Drake. Just a very nice, beautiful everyday color. Bam. Summer. Coral. Love it. For highlight, I am using the Shimmer Squad and I'm using the lightest shade in the Troublemaker, which is a very beautiful white. All right, the moment of truth that every beauty person does, and then they make that face. This stands up there with some of the most pigmented highlighters I've seen. Like, I barely had to do much to get that pigmentation. Done. Done. Gonna pop this in those inners right under that brow. Oh my god, okay, I wasn't prepared. And to complete the look, I'm going to use their Slay All Day Liquid Lip, and I'm using the shade Fleek, which is my favorite. I have a few, but this one is like the perfect nude without being a nude. And here is the finish. What, what are we doing here? And here is the finished look. I hope that you guys like it. I know it's like a little bit out there, but I feel like it's super wearable. Looks really great in pictures, I can tell you that much. I don't know, I had a lot of fun making this. It's a little bit different than something I would normally do. Let me know if you guys like these whole full face one brand. I know I've done, I think I've done two or three in the past. It's been a couple months since my last one, I think. But if there's any brands you'd like me to do in the future, leave them in the comments down below. If you have any questions or if you have any requests other than full face makeup stuff, leave them in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like it, you can give it a dislike. It's up to you, whatever floats your boot. Also, make sure to check the video description. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'll have that in the description because I will be doing a little bit of a giveaway. So make sure you're following so you can be entered and be a part of the family. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!